it's completely evident that once metastatic, that prostate cancer is not curable in the vast majority of patients. We uh, tout our triumphs. We promote the drugs that are going to challenge the current paradigm, but we really don't have curative agents. Now, maybe we'll be that lucky to get there. There's subsets of men that can respond to the new Im immunotherapies, and we actually have pembrolizumab approved without regard to underlying um, tumor source, but approved for those with MSI high or mismatch repair alterations. And we have some astounding responses in some of those patients, so we're very excited about that. Um, you know, we've got some great responses with the PSMA Glutition 177 on clinical trial. Um, and as we begin to move forth, we're going to be subsetting this disease into smaller subsets. Some of it will be molecularly targeted therapy, but I personally like the targeted radium pharmaceuticals because they'll pretty much ablate the cancer regardless of its underlying genotype. And that's a big statement. We have much more to learn. We also can talk about combination therapies, things like the PSMA glutitium combined with a PARP inhibitor uh, in combination with the immunotherapies, and there's some rationale for that. Uh, putting together alphas and beta particles, putting together uh, either alphas or betas in combination with radiation sensitizers, uh, modulating the way the drugs are excreted, modulating the albumin binding is a little project that I'm excited about.